welcome and today we're looking at abortion so what is abortion first of all it's important for you to understand the definition because this could come up in a two mark exam question and also to show the examiner that you know exactly what you're talking about so an abortion is the artificial termination of a pregnancy the legal stuff abortion was made legal in this country in 1968 under the terms of the abortion act two doctors must agree that a woman should have an abortion and also doctors may opt out of performing abortion. Why do women choose to have abortions? You need to know several reasons as to why women choose to have an abortion. So let's take a look at a few. A woman may choose to have an abortion because firstly, the risk to the life of the mother, e.g. she might die as a result of continued pregnancy. There's a risk of injury to the physical and mental health of the mother. There's a risk of injury to the physical or mental health of existing children. If there is substantial risk of the child being born seriously, physically or mentally handicapped. And then there are social reasons. The woman might choose career progression, for example. She'd like to go up in her company and pregnancy has come at the wrong time. All these are reasons why different women may choose to have an abortion. Okay, there are two very important issues that you have to understand within abortion. The first issue is when does life begin? Okay, some people will say it is at conception. Some people will say it is at the point of viability and others will say it is at birth. Okay, for those that say life begins at conception, here is a picture of a zygote. It has the potential to become a human. This is therefore what a human looks like a day after conception. Viability. Viability is the stage at which the fetus can exist outside of the womb. This is presently 22 weeks. Birth. Abortion is presently legal up to 24 weeks. If the life of the mother is at risk, an abortion can be carried out up to birth. The other issue. The other issue is the life of the mother being more important than the life of the baby. Pro-choice supporters uphold the right of a woman to choose whether or not to have an abortion. They strongly believe the rights of the woman should hold precedence over the rights of the baby. Choice supporters are often, but not always, feminists. Abortion Rights is a UK pressure group which aims to defend the rights of a woman to have an abortion. Life, which is the opposite to pro-choice. Pro-life supporters believe that the unborn child should have the right to life and that abortion should not be used except in exceptional circumstances. Pro-life supporters actively campaign to restrict the availability of abortions. Life supporters are often but not always religious believers. And SPUC is a pro-life pressure group, Society for the Protection of Unborn Children.